the oil will come down and it'll come out this way. It's not ready for mass production, but it's going to get the job done. Oil goes in, feed it from the top, keep this closed. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you. Today I've got our Audi A4 in here and what I'm going to be doing, checking the oil level on this Audi A4 Multitronic gearbox 8, eight speed. I'm not going to be draining out the oil process one and two. I'm just going to show you guys how to check the gearbox oil levels. Why you need to check the gearbox oil levels. Sometimes there's like where you might have a um, clutch that's a bit pressure or you're losing oil somewhere and your uh, gearbox is playing up. It's very common with, with these Audi gearboxes. Once it starts losing a bit of gearbox oil, it starts um, playing up a little. So things you might want to look out for in my case i've got a leak from this joint here if you could see so i'm going to be swapping out this um this pipe here and then i'm going to be checking the oil level so please stay tuned for that guys so with process one and two with with this multitronic gearbox this plug here you take it out you um drain the oil out and then it's got a black filler one inside there you'll pull that out till all the gearbox oils come out so then after that this is gravity fed so with the gravity fed you have to get some sort of line i'm going to show you guys this uh, tool that i've made anyway and it comes down and you feed it from the top six liters five liters you go into the car turn it on and run it through all the gears and then from there you come back and then between 35 and 45 uh, Celsius you need to take this back off and if it comes out that means the oil level is good and if it doesn't you need to fill up till till it comes out and I've got a device I'm going to show you guys that in a minute and till it comes out the other way you know your oil level is good so I'm going to skip process one and two and I'm just going to do lumber three just checking the oil level so please stay tuned guys. Why nowadays you need to check this oil level on these gearboxes, obviously Humpty Dumpty here takes a very long time and a lot of effort to get out. It's a big job as well and it's not one that you really want to do. So well, why you need to check it sometimes is because there's a lot of jobs that you need to loosen these wires. Sometimes these wires ain't loosened and it, it rips under the seal in between there on this one here. It, what do you call it, it starts leaking through like how that one has here so the other jobs as well like when you're doing an engine mount motor mount you're meant to loosen this some people don't do it and it stretches out and it leaks through you may not know that you got a leak but it, it is common on Audi gearboxes so these gearboxes the intercooler the automatic gearboxes anyway run from the back along here all the way from the front so that's where the a fours a five a sixes a seven a eight so this is all the same system they run it to the front intercooler through from the gearbox this is only for the automatic gearbox styles i'm just going to quickly swap this uh gearbox pipe guys and after that we're going to check the oil level sure to swap this seal there so I'll take this out for a drive get it to temperature to about 75 and we're also going to check for any leaks on this as I wait for my temperature to get up to 35 degrees so I could check the oil level I just want to let you guys know that 
uh, almost reached 10,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for all of you guys that you have subscribed. I'm giving away one of these um, OBD 11s, so please like, subscribe, all of that shit. And I'm going to be giving away one of these OBD 11s that are very useful. So please bear that in mind. So what we need to do is wait till this gets up to 35 and then take off the plug. If it goes, you only get like a 10 minute window to do all of this. So you've got to make sure it's between 35 and 45. If it goes past 45, everything's going to come out and you're not going to get a correct level on your gearbox oil so you need to make sure it's up 35 when you start doing this next thing that we're going to do so what's happening is guys that's the oil one that's the open tap and this one here is going to be the close off once we know the oil level we know we've put in as much we're going to shut this off open this we know while it's running the oil will come down and it'll come out this way and that's going to be closed off and what we're going to put the oil in with you're going to need some sort of funnel at the top here and some hose pipe this end here and we're going to put it in there and we're going to put a clamp on it our oil gearbox checking level or dropping level or filling in or outlaw is going to be ready it's not ready for mass production but it's going to get the job done oil goes in through here feed it from the top keep this closed and then open it when i need to and close this one off when i need to okay guys come back off my drive now got my device ready here that's going to go in here this end here i'm going to feed it through there so I could get as much gravity as possible. So just want to show you guys, make sure you get the correct ATF, the gearbox oil. Mine takes ATF. So ATF, the, it, goes, um, it goes gravity fed and the CVT also. So just make sure you get the correct part number because these Audi gearboxes, if you put in the wrong stuff, it messes the whole gearbox up. So make sure you get the right stuff. When I take this out, I fully expect a little bit to come out. So I will come out of there, that's normal. Get my device, make sure that side turn that side open. eye on that temperature bro you don't go past that 40 so guys I bought it through there down there get my ATF now start pouring one litre in Putting like half a litre, checking down here for any leaks. So guys, if I open this out now, it's still between 45. If I shut that off and then open this one up now, we'll see it's coming out. Now that's when you know I've closed that off and I've opened this up. So you know your temperature level right. So you gotta be quick here guys so you don't lose so much. So it's 37 degrees. So now, if that was 45, it will come rushing out. So I have to close this back up now. Uh, talk this up after. Make sure you swap that seal. And you can put that back in. And tighten that back up. It was between 45 as well. So if it went over 45, it would have been wrong. 
thank you guys for bearing with me putting in this gearbox oil checking the correct oil level for the audi motronics and it's similar to the s-tronics or other gearboxes cvts that you get but they have different uh, timings some are 45 some are uh, 35 you just want to check your own vehicle's gearbox what it is and the tool that i made it worked it, there was no leaks off camera i really tightened it up so it's really good so you really need to do this guys if you've um, got a little uh, leak like that on your pipes like how i did so it saves you thousands in the gearbox because you know audi gearboxes are very expensive and they could go wrong but what it likes is the oil and that device I made, you could even use it for Mercedes and BMW, as you know, they um, nick Audi's technology, um, gravity feeding and other things. So that device where it opens out, where the filling's going into the same hole, unlike the other S-Tronic I've showed you guys in my video, uh, that one fills in from the side. This one, um, there's only one way to, it comes out and one way it goes in. So if you have any questions, guys, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching.